Hey, Hank Sanguia, hope you stop via. This is your boy N O R E. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this Dream Chest Motherfucking Podcast. Make some noise! And right now, <laughs> not, we not only have Miami's mixtape king, we have Miami's king. The mayor, the, the king, mayor. everything of Miami. Guy right who taught us about when I was in New York, this is how I knew where Miami hip hop scene was. He's been out here repping. He's the realest dude. And he's also the realest dude. He got a whole different following on the internet. Oh, yeah. He's in the cooking. We got hot sauces here. I don't know because they, they say Trick Daddy's here. So they're going to have some hot sauce on the motherfucking table <laughs> for, no, for the table. no reason. One of the realest dudes in hip hop. Right now, yeah. I'm proud to introduce Trick Daddy Dollars. Make some noise! <laughs> now, take us in the beginning, Trick. How did you How did you first start uh, uh, around, um, getting to hip hop? Well, well, see, I went to the chain game when I was 15. Mm, that's jail for people that don't know. Prison. That's yeah, prison. yeah, exactly. We, we, we only have one penitentiary, mm-hmm. and, and you don't want to go there because your mm-hmm. ass gonna get the chair. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know that's the electric chair. So all mm-hmm. the, all the rest are uh, either prisons mm-hmm. or, or correctional facilities. Mm-hmm. Right. So when I got out, I violated the same day I got out. Damn. As soon as you got, got home? <laughs> my violation day was the same day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, uh, my How, old you? Day. How old are you? At, this? at the time, I'm uh, 16 when I got out. Mm. And? I was already thinking like, damn, I ain't, I ain't, you know, I'm thinking, they ain't finna send no young nigga to prison. Because right. you say you're 16. Oh, at wow. the time, I was 14. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So they sent me on up the road. And a lot of dudes in my neighborhood, we, you'll never pass Orlando. Shut up the shots, man. Unless you never pass Shut Orlando shots, unless you got get on the Bluebird. Right. Anybody know what that is from, you know, you gotta be from Florida to know yeah. what the Bluebird is. That's the prison transportation yeah. mm. vehicle. Mm. No knee room, handcuffed to a nigga yeah. weighing two hundred pounds down. more yeah. than you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's shackled at the feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got a shotgun in the back, one in the front, and the driver, no air conditioning. Mm. You can't see out the window. Mm. Before I before I go to before I go to prison the second time, it was right before Hurricane Andrew. Mm. And you know, I went on the tenth floor. The first time I was able to bond out. This right. time I'm on a violation as well as a new charge, so I can't bond out. So now I got to do time in jail. This around the time when Andrew came through, you know, which was, wild. was in no, jail no communication. Right. And you was in the Heights back then. When back, yeah, then it was down south. It was awful. I got I got caught with the birds in the Heights. Okay, actually in front of the school. Salute. This is how we do it. Out of eye, out of eye, out of eye. This is gonna be a wild show. Salute. <laughs> Damn. Well, that mango good actually. But that was this was fucking with the shots, Mister Lee. Yeah, he <laughs> gave us the ultra shots. You trying to get tricked? You go straight in. They so trying well, to get good. I don't need no look. <laughs> <laughs> so what it is is, I was on the tenth floor mm-hmm. at the time. If you get sentenced as an adult, right. they put you on the floor together. It's in county, but in the county, county right. but juvenile under eighteen. Uh-huh. It was a five man cell, mm. yep. two beds in each cell. Mm-hmm. And 40 niggas. Mm. So 30 niggas sleeping on the floor. Mm. And county's all fucked up, too. You got to know, uh, when I went to prison, first time I was 124 pounds. By, by then, I had to got big, by 150. Mm. So they used to bring the mail in. They used to throw the mail on the table. Right. And it was some niggas that was so... Uneducated, they didn't even know their name if they saw their name written down wow. on a piece of paper. Yeah. Wow. So I started out writing letters for them. I started mm-hmm. out writing their mama, their girlfriend, or their baby mama. Yo, come come holler at them, man. Send mm-hmm. me some. I started out writing for them. That's the beginning mm-hmm. of my lyrics. I started writing for them. Wow. And then but it the wasn't people were, lyrics. They, right, it wasn't lyrics, okay. but the people yeah. was like, who wrote this letter for you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know, one of my homeboys was like, whatever he wrote in that letter, you came to see me. Mm-hmm. And she was like, whoever wrote this letter for you real smart, did, did, right. did, you know? And then I had a way with, I always had a way with words. You know, in prison, you have to, mm-hmm. you don't get but $25 a week. Right. So right. I had to make my own cars and shit. Mm. So I used to write letters. And anybody I wrote a letter for, that bitch sent me 50 or $100. <laughs> so I'm like, Look. okay, I got a way with words. Right. 
when I was younger, I, my, my daddy them really started the music shit back in the days with, with the DJ. How we DJ down here is different from how y'all did it. Because your daddy got mad kids, right? Right. My daddy got mad kids from different women. So right. all of us grew up Let's in different environments. Yeah, you have a mad kid. <laughs> Yeah, and how we DJed on the corner, we put up what we call Vegas. We would line mm. up from speakers from here to the yeah. street. Mm. And we battled like that. And when, when, when we DJ, it was different from DJs from the West Coast or DJs from the East Coast. Wow. It was you you hype the mic, you hype mm. the word, you hype mm. the song, and then at some point you you said things and changed the, the meaning and the title of the song and you mm. and it was like a rhyme. So mm. I knew how to DJ. So I used to always tell my daddy, Daddy, man, I think I can rap. And my daddy rapping said, wasn't popular at that no, time. But you, no, but you at that time, you were, at the, that the way time, you DJ, you got to know the rap, too. You got to know, you got part, know the song. That's it's part of the style. It's DJ. not about, like, I, it was hard to be a DJ like in Uncle the South. Like and these cats. That's, right. that's how they battled. They was putting lyrics. They was cutting I records. couldn't come to you and cut a check, right. or you couldn't be an ass kiss and drop my right. record when I walked in the club. Right. Like yeah. these new DJs, they get a pair of uh, uh, Beats and a yeah. MacBook Pro. They think they're a motherfucker yeah. DJ. Yeah. These yeah. new pop Come on, help us out, man. Come on, pour so, a shot. And, pour a normal shot. And normal I told my dad, I said, "Daddy, I think I can rap." Right. <laughs> At the time, I had an older brother that was rapping. Right. But he was like doing a lot of the shit that I wouldn't do because I was on the street shit. You know, I grew up in the Poker Bean Project. Poker Bean Project. A lot of y'all, y'all y'all watched First Forty Eight. Yeah, that yeah, probably yeah, was one yeah. of the first. Shows. Now, is that Liberty City or no? That's Liberty yeah. City. Okay, go ahead. Break and, it down. and all our inner cities also is separated with neighborhoods mm. and areas. Like Scott Projects was the Liberty City. Mm. You know, the 40s, what they call Adapata. That's still mm. Liberty City. Brown Sub is still Liberty City. Adapata is, um, that's where the Dominicans be at? That's yeah. what, it, okay. yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's why I that's know what, what It's not a normal shot, by the way, but I'm going to let you get away with it. Let me get your glass. So I tell, I tell my daddy, I say, I think I can rap. Right. And he said, I don't know about rapping, but you can cook that dope. Go in there and cook up four ounces and drop them off. Pops the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Fuck that rapping. You you can cook that dope. Go cook me four ounces and drop them off down there at (laughs) Homestead. All right. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to be doing this shit with my eyes closed. (laughs) (laughs) So, (laughs) take it easy, go on. It, my daddy ended up going going to the feds. Right. So now, I don't cook the dope no more. Now I pick up the money. Mm. And I, I, was, I was about 12, 13. I counted so much money, I threw up. Right. And I was like, Dad, I didn't realize money was that dirty. He was like, mm. you throw it up? I was like, right. yeah. He said, you count that shit right. The, the right. count was right. Right. <laughs> so you don't... Son, right. you don't cook no dope. You count the money. Right. When I get out of prison, I'm going around. At this time, my daddy's in prison. Mm-hmm. He got a hundred some years in the feds at the time before wow. his appeal. God bless. Uh, I get out to meet two little brothers that I didn't have when I went to prison. Mm-hmm. I went to prison. My mama had nine. Now she got eleven. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, Mom, who is that? You mm-hmm. you, you babysit now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause my youngest brother mixed with some shit. Right. Like, like what? And um, <laughs> some shit, curly hair, <laughs> light skin shit, you know? So, I, I, have, shit. I, 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 I went and moved with my cousin, one of my favorite cousins. I went and moved with her. Went through with some niggas in the apartment that week. Her dough got kicked in. When she came back, I was sleeping on the floor with an AK in my hand, and I had the niggas trying to fix her dough before she got home. She was like, no, right. you getting out with the same shit. You, you got to get out of here. Mm. All right. So, I'm... Went down the street, we trapping in apartments, and I was listening to the radio. There was like two live crew that's looking for a new member. Oh, mm. shit. In Miami, the Pac Jam was a teen disco. Yeah. On Saturdays, passage, on man. Saturdays, you can go there as an eight year old to a 12 year old. Wow. It called, excuse me, called Kitty Day. It was like mm. a strip club, too. <laughs> Because our women always being provided. That's why I have. That's why I get so offended with these whole these fake titties and fake ass. Like you could look at a Miami bitch back in the days and be like, "Yeah, she from Miami." Right. Yeah. Like right. you know. So I went. I had a contest. The last person I ended up battling in the contest was Red Eyes. Oh, oh shit! I'm oh, um, Zopan, all right? Me and Eyes went for about an hour. Oh wow! I'm like, damn man, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
I'm telling Luke, listen, I, I'm running out of shit. I don't freestyle. Right. To me, freestyle is bullshit. Right. Freestyle is what a lot of these new rappers do. They right. say anything, they rhyme with anything. Bitter, 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 it's no story. Bitter, right. They sound like, yeah. they look like, they dress like, right. no story, no no content. You know, right. Just the mumble rap. Right. Mm. So I end up winning the contest. Mm. So uh, Luke was trying to start a new two live. I did the, my first record. You probably don't remember this. This is when I first met you, Nor. Mm. Was the Scar Yeah, we told, mm. we told, we told mm. Well, we had the Judge Edo mm. and, uh, mm. on, on mm. the. Um, mm-hmm. That's around the OJ's Temperature shit was just mm-hmm. <laughs> fine. Your verse was crazy uh, on that right. Right. And um, so Verb couldn't do a clean verse. And I was like, I can't do a clean verse, but I can say a little bit of cuss words because that's my second language. I know mm. English and profanity. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know the rest of the shit. So yeah. I ended up doing a Sky record. The Sky record was big. Then uh-huh. so Luke went out. Luke was signed with Island at the time, man. And, mm. and um, Hiram, I believe his name was Hiram Hicks. At, he uh, he was like, I, I want to sign a deal. And I was like, mm. okay, Luke, go holler at him. Mm. The numbers that he came back wasn't. Wasn't right. right. So I'm telling Luke, listen, I need some money, but I ain't no buster. I ain't soft. Right. If you give me a little bit of money, I ain't going to be able to stay out here. I got niggas that I left in the prison I got to take care of. Right. I got my mama I got to take care of. Right. I say, I ain't with that shit. Luke right. say, well, what you do? I say, man, I'm selling goat. Right. Still doing the same shit. He was like, right. come stay with me. Right. That's why no matter what, I'm always respect Luke. Let's make I'm some always noise. give him his props. You know what I'm saying? Let's make some noise for Uncle Luke, God damn it. Continue, Trey. Continue. How old are you when Scar came out? Uh, when Scar came out, I was 19. Mm. Still young. Mm. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. So I stayed with Luke. We did a lot of shit. A lot mm. of up there. You know, Luke off the chain, any motherfucker away. Mm-hmm. And this right around the time when the West Coast shit was when Luke them had mm-hmm. just went through it with. With Dre and Dre, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So I'm on that shit. Like right. you know, we grew up on that, on that shit. Like right. we respect you, respect right. us. Like you know right. what I'm saying. So me and Luke vibe, and I, I watched him, and I realized the shit that everybody was giving Master Peter props for. Luke been doing he it. Did it, right. yeah, yeah. But right. they respected Miami niggas is only as base. Right. Records. Yeah, because there's bass movement at that time. Right. Yeah. And even though because JT Money was one of my favorites. Poison Clan, one of right. the Right. Even though they still consider it as bass because the singles that you would have to pick in order to get radio play would have to be more up tempo. Right. Mm. But music. Poison Clan was hands down NWA of Miami. Exactly. Hands down. Mm. Of the South, period. Period. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, one of my brother's best friends who he used to hustle with, they say, man. Touche got a record label. Oh, that's that slip and slide. Slip slide. So mm. I go holler at Touche, mm. and he like, I'm trick man. You gonna so be on the same So you never officially shit. signed with Luke? I never signed with Luke. Oh wow! I never signed with Luke. Oh, wow. the people don't know that. I be telling these other niggas, don't be signing that shit. Cause <laughs> they don't have to sign. Man, it. They want, even niggas I fuck with, I tell them, you don't have to sign with me. Right. You don't have to sign. I don't right. want you to sign with me. Right. When you ready, I'm gonna tell you you ready. I don't. I can't stand a nigga who get one record and think, boy, it's a hit. Yeah. Right. I can't stand them type of nigga right. because I actually talk, and you know yeah. this game because right. exactly. the, what kind of deal y'all have? You right. had to go and meet the buyers. They don't right. even know that, that those people existed. Right. right. The people that sold the records to Specs and, right. and, 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 exactly. and Virgin and, exactly. and all those other places, F Y um right. I and all yeah, those F Y E F Y E. Those people were people like. <laughs> Regular drug dealers. Yeah. They bought the work, which was the <laughs> music, yep. and yep. they sold it to the store. At a higher rate. Yeah, At a higher rate. Right. Yeah. Back in the days, so, you used to have to meet the retailers. Right. Yeah. If they, they didn't like you, yep. it wasn't none of that shit. They wouldn't they carry your right record. Now, they say yeah. they call it, um, let me think of the word. They say we, uh, not servers, they say we, some little word where they get the, they get about 15 motherfuckers sit around and they say, okay. Tastemakers? It's similar right. shit they do now. No okay. record pools, no DJs, right. no nothing. Right. They 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 do something to the records and they say, okay, yeah, this 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 record will work. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Talk about now the way it goes down. You talking about radio? Oh, uh, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> I, I know uh, research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, we research the record. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck you research the yeah. record? That yep. Yeah. They have a couple of guys that sit around and they'll they'll play the record 15 to 42 seconds and then they'll make a choice that's based just on like, 15 that's just to 42 like the seconds. answers on Family Feud. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. First of all, we asked 100 men, okay, where them niggas was from? 
<laughs> like you understand what I'm saying? You ask the hundred men, but where were they from? Australia? Because I can't go there. I'm a convenient fellow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I never been to Canada. I've right, right. been to Canada, right. but I didn't pass right. customs. Right. They tell me to walk through that. Door. <laughs> That's the U turn, right. though. Like we don't want you here. You right. feel right. me? Right. So we do that shit. And so Touche you, like you, you get with slip and slide. Yeah. I don't get with slip and slide. Oh. Touche telling me. Man, Trick ain't gonna listen. All right. He hang with all these hitters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we call the killers, the mm -hmm. hitters. Yeah, we don't. He hang with all these hitters. Man, this nigga ain't gonna listen, man. So uh, Debbie Bennett was working with Slip and Slide. She was like, Ted, mm -hmm. I talked to him. He's mm -hmm. hungry. He's mm -hmm. eager. Save his life. Mm -hmm. Because right. anything goes out here. Mm -hmm. The niggas that you see on death row, the right. bubs, the, right. the little bo, the nigga you seen right. on uh, First 48, the boobies, uh -huh. the Vondas, mm -hmm. them, I grew up with them. Them was mm -hmm. my friend. They, that was what we know, cocaine and machine guns. That's mm -hmm. what we knew mm -hmm. at the time. We found a hit town, we going there, we putting down like it's Miami. All right. I wasn't gonna last in that game long. Because right. every time I went to prison, I EOS. That's called in the sentence. No game time, no nothing. Right. I'm not listening to the, the officers. I'm not right. calling him sir. Right. <laughs> I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel good. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I stayed in confinement from July to January when I got out. Like, what fuck that. Y'all got to let me out January. Right. So I convinced Touche, man, listen, I'm going to do it. So my first, my first album, based on the true story, I got a lot of recognition for that in the South, mm -hmm. but Debbie kept stressing, if you don't get New York Radio to play right. this record, right. you never gonna blow up. Right. If you don't get this next record out of LA, All it's right. not gonna work. If you don't get it in Virginia and right. Charlotte and DC and, right. and, and Chattanooga with certain times, at that time, certain areas was the ones you had to blow up here right. first. All right. So Shay said, what we gonna do? We gonna get it played in Miami. Mm -hmm. We did the Nair nigga joint. <clears throat> Shay wasn't at the studio. Let's just make some noise. Let's just make some noise. Yo, no Nair, Nair. Come on, make some noise. <laughs> I used to be in Miami seeing y'all, and, and I swear to God, I don't know if you remember this, but I came, I, I heard that record in Club Rolex. And I went and did Angie Martinez the next day. And my whole interview, she kept saying, she kept talking to me. I was like, you don't know there. And then like, and I just kept doing it. Like, and every like, I, throughout the interview, just, you don't know there. And I, 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 like, I, I didn't know what you were saying. And, and, and that's what I was just <laughs> yeah, saying. Yeah. And, but I so loved so Touche it. said, right. it's not complete. Right. You got to put something else. So I say, no, nah. this is it. it was that was you it. first? No. It was, no, no, it wasn't me at first. That was yeah. me and Trina. Okay, right. But it was like, this Shade, it's it. I'm telling you. Right. I no. say, I see how they react to this motherfucker. Yeah, no. This it. Straight up. Shade was like, it's missing something. They don't know what you're talking about. Nobody ain't know what now meant. Mm. Mm. That's what was the gold about it. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. Nobody knew what now meant. In Miami, we got different slang and different lingo mm. from other places. Mm. When you say old girl in mm. Miami, that's your mama. Mm -hmm. mm. When you say old boy, that's your daddy. Mm. Yeah. Now I mean none, nothing, nothing like. Uh -huh. So my whole thing was, I'm not going to sound like these, even though I fuck with Coogee rap, I love them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like AZ. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Scarface. Mm -hmm. I like Q and Too Short. But I'm a I ain't like from a Miami, Miami nigga. nigga. I ain't from Set LA. I ain't from New York. Yeah, I'm from Miami. Absolutely. I'm going to do this Miami Let's make some shit. noise for Dade County, oh. goddammit. <laughs> the home of Drink Champs. Dade County, goddammit. Continue. I dropped that now. And, 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 and I, 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 don't, I don't know if it was Funk Fex, uh, Funk Flex, or, uh, or Angie that dropped the record first, but I got a lot of love on, from Angie. It was Angie Martinez. Let's big up Angie Martinez. Let's big up Funk Master Flex. They realized it early. Let's also big up Cypher Sounds. Cypher yeah. Sounds was But not only that. To a nigga who was listening to a New York radio yep. to hear a respected DJ give props to a nigga from the South? Yep, you were one of the first. You were one of the first to break they through. Like, what yeah. is this nigga talking about? Let's make some noise for Trick Daddy, goddammit. Let me just tell you something. 
I don't know if you know about our show, but in our show, we praise our artists, and I want to praise you for that, because you was one of the first South artists to transition, and New York niggas related to that, and New York niggas accepted you for the way you are, you are who you are, and you stayed who you are, and we fuck with you, because we praise yeah, our artists. We give our artists their flowers when they can smell them, and trees when they can inhale them. God damn it, make some noise, God damn it. God damn it. That's what we do over here. But- and, so now, I, and, I, and I also fuck with the right niggas from New York Cause the mm. New York niggas They not supposed to have guns right. But they will rob your ass <laughs> right. They will rob your ass right. So I always uh, fuck with the right New right. York niggas right. You know what I'm saying Right Maybe Bleak always speak highly of you as well uh, That's my the, guy The, the Round Hill record uh-huh. Me and, me and right. Bleak he, he, It's almost like Bleak Knew that you and T.I. Were like the kings of the south and, and, and then a lot of people used to always say, how T.I. say he the king of the shot? Let him right. say what the fuck you want to say. Right. That's just like a bitch coming to tell me, oh, you hanging with that nigga. That nigga used to say this about you. That nigga used to say that about you. Right. I said, bitch, it didn't matter back then when you was with that nigga. Now you know <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. And then he said it to you. He didn't say it to you. That nigga didn't, that nigga didn't talk bad about me. He right. lied to your ass. Right. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you need to be mad at him. I'm not fucking mad at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That I always, and, and, and it's certain niggas. Like I even always holler at Jay And niggas be like Man every time I see you Talking to Jay Z Why he won't put you down I was mm-hmm. like man I respect this man mind I respect mm-hmm. his game Everything right. ain't for everybody mm-hmm. Everything ain't for everybody mm-hmm. The shit we was on It wasn't for no Rockefeller at that time Right, right. It wasn't for that Right, nah. Cause I, when niggas talk shit, we gonna smash their ass. Mm, you feel I me? I used to see y'all wildin' on South Beach. We used to, it, we used to be wild ass, and then when, when at Cancun. Mm. That's round when Nan nigga was big. You don't know Nan nigga. And they had the pool party and they dropped Nan nigga. Mm-hmm. And Jay told me, you got yourself one, boy. Mm-hmm. You got one. From yeah. there, I, I've sold three gold albums and three platinum albums. And a lot of niggas don't know what they're doing. Poor shop, the ice physicals ain't come, too. Niggas, physical niggas. copies, man. That's physicals. Yeah, not that, yeah, yeah, not yeah, that not digital, digital shit. Yeah. Not yeah. that yeah. fake shit. Not, yeah. no, not no, here, I'm going to give you $50 yeah. copy when somebody yeah. buy that, scan this. But you had none of that shit. No payola. I ain't paying right. nobody shit. All right. Wow. I'm nah. not paying nobody shit. I ain't kissing the ass. I ain't doing none right. of that. Now, now, I was going to do this shot. So... What was what was the most <laughs> biggest like what did you see? Like was that the, the record right there that Brung you said, you know, Trick Daddy's a star now? No. Nah, no. no. Get no. out of here. I, I just found out I was famous, like. Nah, nigga, you've been famous. Let's stop. Yeah, brother. but it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was hood famous and famous wherever you go where you can't go to the grocery store. Nah, you When been I can't famous. answer my phone, the bitch like, I know that voice. Right. Now you've been famous. Way before oh, Auto Tune. We gon' way gonna, before all the other uh, all the other shit. You know. Right. Way before Skinny Jeans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And way after. I, I want to tell you something too. <laughs> what you feel I, about I, Skinny Jeans? It feel like I you went, got something to say. I was in Iguanas. Uh, that, that's two in weeks Fort Lauderdale. Ago. For no, the people yeah, in Pembroke Pines. Yeah, a couple okay. of Iguanas, but yeah. yeah. Okay. And Jeezy was in there performing. Uh huh. And. No respect to the game. Salute. And not the rap of the game, but the, the dope game, the hustle game, the fraud game, whatever niggas was in. But I was hurt. I don't understand where this is going, but I'm here. It was it was 350 to 400 niggas with Cuban links. Ain't no way. Uh. <laughs> I know 90% of them shits was fake. You, that, that was USA flea market coming up. It was three to four hundred <laughs> niggas with Cuban like big dookie Cuban uh, like the USA came. Uh, niggas, uh, niggas begging for drinks got on Cuban links. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Carol Mark came up. <laughs> nothing ass niggas and nothing ass hoes. Mm. All they care about is likes. Wow. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, and, yeah. and, 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 and the shit fuck with me. I told my dog, the mom, like, man, let's go, man. Right. They're like, what's wrong? I said, I'm going to tell you when we get in the car. When we sat down in the car, the first thing they say, I never seen so many Cuban links. Now look. I uh, say, boy. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's pathetic. Right. It's, it's pathetic. And I'm really pissed at the niggas who say, I raised them in music. Mm. When I get a feature with a nigga, mm-hmm. 
It's because I love that nigga. I liked it his style. And I, when I heard that certain record and knew what I was going to do with it, I knew that he was going to do the same thing and he was going to be real about it. I ain't never tried to get no hot nigga on my records. Mm. I ain't never tried to get no popular nigga on my records. I ain't never did no records with no fucking Justin Bieber. I mm. never did a record with Mariah Carey or... Mm. or, 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 or um, Kelly Rowland. Well, I got a record with Kelly Rowland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should, you should keep I never that did a one. record keep with, 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 with Fantasia. When these were my people who I really fuck with and respect. I never did a record with them because I couldn't think of a record to do with them that it would be a real record. That makes that, sense for all trip. my album was based on a true story. Mm -hmm. www.thug.com. Book of Thug. Thugs I Rush. Classics. Uh, Back by Thug the Man. Thug Matrimony. Not none of that play play shit. Like real shit. And, 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 and now that Bill Cosby fucked up, right? I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got a song called I heard I you just supposed to write sing. a you got a Bill Cosby you song? You were supposed to write I got a song that I, I gave to Bill Cosby for the Fat Albert music, the movie. Mm. Oh. And he oh. turned the song down. I'm like, what I the remember. fuck? I didn't curse on the song. <laughs> you I, did? It took me about a week to write this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't curse. It was a song called I Just Want to Sing. <laughs> I got the kids on the records. Mm. Now, a lot of people get Jay the Prophet on. Um, the... A lot of people get that. Jay the Prophet. I done had the kids on all my albums. Mm. A lot Shout of people society, too. Society. Society. So sad. Yeah, yeah, I always, I fuck with the kids. Mm. And he turned my record down. Mm. And Are we saying fuck Bill Cosby right now? Well, he's a little old. He's and my, just saying my mama, that he turned down before all that listen, shit. No, like, but I, I'm not saying chat? fuck him, but I, I believe them girls. You want uh, oh. it's too many girls. <laughs> One of them is right. I, listen, my last case that I went to trial for, what? it was two witnesses. That's the only thing that helped me. Right. It was two witnesses, and they kind of tell you, when you come in the courtroom, they say, anybody in here for the defendant stand up now. Mm -hmm. And when you go to motherfucking court and your mama and your daddy living and they not in court with you and you got kids that ain't in court with you and your baby mamas and your friends and your neighbors and your teacher ain't in court with you, the judge say, you a fucked up person. <laughs> you fucked up. Right. Whether they say it to you or not. The mm -hmm. way they're going to be talking to you and looking at you, when they said my name, the courtroom filled up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The judge told the prosecutor, we need to try to resolve this instead of finishing this trial. All right. When I first see Bill Cosby, uh -huh. he reminded me of Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. Mm. That don't sound good. <laughs> every time, uh, every time I see one of them niggas, I like turn the channel. <laughs> they play play ass niggas trying to get on TV. Right. Mm. They are the reason why we don't have no. If 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 Bill Cosby, Al Sharpton, and Jesse Jackson was real black folk who stood up for black folk, they would have killed them like they did Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Mm. We getting political. And Bill Cosby fronted on on uh, what he front on on um Richard Pryor, fronted on Richard Pryor mm. for talking that shit. We getting political on Dream now, Champs. I mean, you, you go you go to say okay one one motherfucker okay I don't believe her two okay I don't believe her the whole front cover of Time magazine. <laughs> hey, Time magazine is like one of the first magazines. Uh, National magazines, it is. I believe so. After That's the some Bible. shit like ESPN. <laughs> and that work. That's like big. Mm -hmm. And plus, I never liked it, the Bill Cosby show after I got old enough to understand what happened. Yeah, Ain't no Bible. doctor <laughs> gonna marry no college professor and have five kids and none of them don't do drugs, <laughs> use cuss words, <laughs> smoke weed, and don't do nothing legal. And uh -huh. You could be the best parent in the world. Right. Everybody ain't gonna be right. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Right. Everybody, and it was just, it was, it was, it was unbelievable. I, it was unbelievable too for for me. It's like they selling dreams, and that's my problem with the Tyler Perry's and the mm. Oprah Winfrey's of the world. Why can't we have successful movies from the beginning of the movie? I I struggle. I can struggle. Okay, we know it's a struggle nah. from the beginning of the movie. Okay, but why we always gotta cheat? Why we always gotta steal, mm. kill one another, lie? Why we gotta do bad before we do good? And that's how mm. all they movies. Like the Malcolm to, X story. To, to me, they always degrade niggas for their mm. wealth. And then, like she went, to, Oprah went to Africa and built the school. Mm. Africa is the richest continent in the world. The resources, yeah. They got natural resources yeah. that don't see the shit we made up. Yeah. Mm. 
We need some schools around here. You yeah. you got your television show that you made billions of dollars, not hundreds of millions, billions of dollars Billion. in Chicago, where young niggas ain't got nothing to do but kill each other, and you ain't did shit for them niggas. Mm. So I, I, I have a problem with people like that. I don't want to meet them. I, I'm not interested in them. I don't have. I, I'm not. I don't want them dead. I don't want to see them doing bad. But maybe Bill died before the trial. Mm. Yeah, I feel like he gonna die. Why you think OJ in prison? Rick OJ Cruz. in prison for beating the shit with Nicole. Yeah. Well, Bill already going through it because his son got killed. All that shit go. Hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? So, so now that we political, it's not really political. A little political. Yeah, I'm wondering how you feel about Kanye West and Donald Trump. I, I, I feel sorry for Kanye the same way I feel sorry for. Oh my God, man! Anybody that get, let me tell you, the problem is that Kardashian pussy. <laughs> is a curse. <laughs> I don't want no pussy who lived next door, growed up, went, went to school with no Kardashian. I, know, I thought about the mummy when he said that. <laughs> you gotta look at, and, and no matter what, they call him Caitlyn. <laughs> nigga, you Bruce, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you Bruce. They're like, Tyler Perry, nigga, you my dear, nigga. Every time I look at you, nigga, you my so dear. He's Bruce and he's my dear. You, okay, then you wanna be a so called woman. <laughs> But you want to keep the dick. What you going to do with that? <laughs> You're a woman. What you going to do with your dick? <laughs> they, look what they did in Lamar Miller. Who? Lamar Miller. I don't know. Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom. Not oh, Lamar right. Miller. Excuse me. Lamar oh, yeah. Odom. Yeah. What happened? Lost his fucking mind. <laughs> got oh, shit. And then this nigga walked out. With Donald Trump the other day. Yesterday. Wasn't it yesterday? Yes. So we dropping this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it is. This comes out tomorrow. This comes out tomorrow. I, this I, comes I, out tomorrow. So, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I, did I? What, what happened? Trey? What seen, was your first I, I seen Jim Brown. <laughs> Jim Brown? Yeah, he went too. But he had Ray with him. Ray snitched on my dog. So I'm like, damn. Like, <laughs> like oh. <laughs> Are we like, ice? We ice? Like, ice? Ray, ice? Like, ice? Ice, please, my brother. Ever since the, what they call the quote unquote Ray Lewis murder. Yo, 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 roll up. He the only one got convicted. And he stitched on my dog, so now he want to be the same man, the same. This, then it's like, how could you talk? Oh, from you Drink talk? Champ Sports. I need me a drink, Champ Cup. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yo, but by the way, we want you to finish your story. We want you to remember, but listen. Our base home is in Miami. I want you to know we this is your Miami, home. Man. This is your home. Anytime you want to come and talk, because I want to get into some, some crazy shit in a little while, but anytime you want to come promote your records, we're going to support it. You know, uh, uh, me being in Miami, uh, I always respect Miami Kings. I always respect the legend. That's why nobody never had a problem with me, because I don't fuck y'all bitches. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't take y'all drugs. Just a couple. I barely, uh, not back in the day. Hell, but, but he I'm married. Wife him. He don't yeah, wife yeah, him. I'm married. <laughs> I came down here and I respect Miami and you, the Miami King, the mayor. I, I appreciate and, you. And man. I want you to continue to come back here anytime you ever got anything you want to say. We love your we interviews on the time. Breakfast Club. But you know what? You ain't even got to take a, take a flight. And those are our peoples. We love yeah, the Breakfast yeah. Club. But you can stay right here. The next you know time, we're going to go to my house. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. But you got to cook, though. Yeah, you nah, gotta nah. Cook. You got to cook. Let's, let's, let's talk about cooking. I, that's let's what I do. Nah, but don't get away from what the fuck we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, what were we talking about? That was great. Yeah, you fucking up. Yeah, you fucking up. Trump. Trump. Oh, yeah, and Kanye. Yeah, the Kanye shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Brown. It's like, okay. But Jim Brown, man, that was At least Ray Lewis said... He, I'm here for oh, it was talking Lewis about urban development. At least he, you know what I'm saying, had something to tell us. Like, but it's like Kanye just standing there. Like he just pussy whoop going crazy. <laughs> what? Crazy. Let me ask you a question. I mean, could yeah. I ask y'all a question? Right, I know cool. nobody don't ask y'all questions on y'all show. Nope, but go ahead. You trick daddy Who y'all think got Kim Ring? Huh? What? Who you think stole that ring? Oh, the, the in France. The yeah. French thug. You, mm. Actually, I think you know them. Nah. <laughs> that, was, that was a terrible segment. The, the, the people that you know. No, I, I, I know some foul niggas in France, but they ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. It was ISIS. You made me tell me. It was ISIS. Uh, 
<laughs> Kim Kardashian. Right. It was her snap. The name is worth a lot of money. Mm. They they talking about Black China mm. want to brand her name. And yeah, I know y'all heard about that on her shit. That. But yeah. I'm thinking Kim Kardashian is at a private place mm. with no security, nobody, and the mm. ring come up missing. Mm. You think she finna leave Kanye? I don't know. <laughs> We're all confused. I mean, her, her brother. That black is, pussy got him whipped. Let's make some noise for the black her pussy. Is her brother is fucking with her. Her brother fucking with her brother in law, baby mama. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a little weird. That, that go there, that that shit <laughs> pussy again. Tiger, right? Trick is going there, tiger, man. Right. Trick, trick got me sweating. Yeah, man. We hey, drinking shots. One thing about me, I'm going to tell y'all too. One, anything y'all want to ask me, and one thing about me, uh-huh. a nigga ain't do shit to me. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> we know. If a, nigga lay, if a nigga fall asleep and dream that he going to fuck with me, he better wake up in the party. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's, just, it's just weird. I'm just but, thinking about that. The, we was on there. the Kanye. So you you will not vote for Kanye in 2020. You know what? If I had a choice to vote for Kanye over Donald Trump, Kanye, yeah. please, you gonna vote? Kanye. Yeah, because I know he'll get impeached faster than Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but you, they don't give you choices. Right. Like you, you got choices. It like it ain't like you can make up a name and, right. and if you if you did. You know, if you fill it in, it, it wouldn't count. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when if Donald Trump think he gonna get in, in, behind that motherfucker in that Oval Office and run this country like a motherfucker business, mm. a lot of people gonna die behind that he shit. He'll run it like mm. a dictator, man. That's the way mm. it's acting. That's the way he's acting. He, like he's that. not gonna make it as a dictator because there's there there's one thing I've learned about. I grew up in Miami, so when I hear race, the word racism, I don't know what that really means. I know what prejudice is. I know what separation and segregation is. And I call my fucked up relationship situationships. Right. <laughs> right. But I don't know what it is to be racially divided by white people because we don't really have white people in Miami. Mm. Miami is, is multicultural. White right. people are Cuban. Right. Now, and no, white people is niggas because if you go to Cuba, then they black and Yeah, yeah but I'm saying the blonde haired right. girl with the big right. ass is Cuban. But how we consider them, we consider them as just like us. Mm. Everybody know this Indian land. We ain't nobody from America. Oh, right. So how do we choose who we gonna kick out? Mm. Now, how the country do show the Cubans love and then turn the Haitians back, yeah. I don't agree with that. Absolutely mm. wrong. But mm. at the same time, if we can, if, if we as American people, I don't give a fuck who decided to vote for Trump. Mm. If we think that Donald Trump mm. could run this country, we fucked up. Why? We might as well vote for Kanye. We are fucked up. We might as well vote for Kanye. Yeah, we might as well vote for Kanye. I vote for Kanye. Let's make some noise for us voting for Kanye. <laughs> But he's bugging right now. What's up with the we, blonde We, we, we ain't really Kardashian fucking with him. Pussy, I keep telling y'all, don't God. fuck none of them, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've never been befuddled this much, but I'm... Bruce, listen, Bruce Jenner was the number one athlete in the world. He was in Wheaties boxes and shit. He was... He was Weenies? He, they Weenies. talk about Bruce Jenner. They talk about Bruce Jenner mm. in American history. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And now you're Caitlyn? <laughs> Somebody was like, he outran Africans, like like the fastest people in the world. The Kenyans? He ain't beat the Kenyans. Yeah. Man, yes. Yes. He, he ain't beat the Kenyans. He beat him in everything. Yes. yes. He ain't coming second in nothing. <laughs> what they call it? Tri- Africa, the tri- uh, triathlon? The triathlon? Yeah. Whatever the fuck that is. That triathlon. Yeah. yeah that, that shit there. That shit there. Yeah, no, straight up. That's, that's the one with you. He outran 40, 50 the different fastest shit. Like, <laughs> Oh my God! Nah, the dude was ill. So now, now trick. You had the internet on fire. Two different instances, and we're gonna bring up one: the spitting on the computer. What happened there? It, it, 
<laughs> he spit on his bitch. I don't even know. And we still don't know who you who you was talking about. This, this bitch is one of these hoes who try to get attention mm. off social media. Mm. You know. And I'm trying to explain to her, like, listen, I'm I'm really from the ghetto. I grew mm. up off world fan food stamps. Like, mm. you're not gonna talk to me any type of way, bitch. I washed dishes when I was but, little. But what she she talked to you on the internet? What happened was mm. I put up a post about uh-huh. my homegirl Pre Madonna. Mm. And I was like, bitches I always hate no Pre Madonna. Like, if you're doing good, I'm gonna give you your props. Right. And one of the comments was said her name. When she went in, she went live on Facebook, that live gonna get bitch fucked up. Right. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram live about it was all fucked up. She went live and she brought my name up. And her oh. daughter walked out the house and was like, Ma, he didn't say nothing about you. Right. She was like, I don't give a fuck about that nigga. See, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people just thought you just went off. Oh, she said oh, something about you. Thing about, let, okay. let me tell you something. God look out for babies and fools. Mm. If you that motherfucker stupid, God got you. If I run into you, bitch, mm. you in the hands of the devil. I'm going to crucify mm. you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, you know, I, I got, and I have lupus, so I ain't even supposed to get mad. Everybody was like, your eyes was blood shot red. I, I probably had a motherfucking stroke and ain't know it. Right. Oh, I, really, I really, really, really wanted this bitch. Like, But what did she say to you exactly? Oh, that nigga trick. You supposed to be a real nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So I got on the live and I typed, bitch, you better watch your mouth. Oh, fuck, you nigga. <laughs> I'm like, what, me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that, that, so, but since then, she they whooped their ass at the, uh, <laughs> did y'all see that? No, no. They whooped their ass live. Uh, uh, live, live, live. At the hood office. Y'all ain't hear about that? No. They caught her. Some of the girls she was beefing with, mm-hmm. they beat her ass at the hood office. Mm. And the next picture you seen was her standing by the police car. Oh, mm. shit. Giving descriptions and shit. Mm. She was supposedly going to the hood office to go and report one of my other homegirls mm. who was, ain't, ain't have a job, but... She had a side business and a side hustle. She was going, she was mm. taking pictures of my homegirl wearing mm. designer shit and driving a nice car. And right. she was going to the hood trying to get my homegirl and her kids kicked out of their house. Oh. And I was like, that's fucked up. And while I'm on that note, I want to talk about like being cautious. Like I went live talking about being cautious. Like they ben made Carson. him head. Oh, the political nigga? Yeah, yeah they, they made Carson? him head. No. Uh-huh. They made him head of hood. Let me explain to you what her is. Yeah, yeah. Her is the reason for all these young killers. Yeah. Her is the reason my mama got so many baby daddies. Her mm-hmm. is the reason that niggas thought that they was comfortable with world fair food stuff and paying a dollar for rent. Mm-hmm. Her is a curse to any black or Hispanic that grew up in motherfucking Miami. So for if he Public thinks he knows he period. doing, they put mm-hmm. they set him up. And her, this is this is the criteria. Mm-hmm. A man can't live with you. That's not Section 8, though, right? The same thing. Oh, same thing, okay. Section 8 is like a scholarship from hood. <laughs> where you can actually go live you in somebody else's property, <laughs> and instead of you paying them, the government send them the check. That's right. what Section 8 is. That's dope. But Ben Carson don't know what he just got himself into. Yo, ben Carson is a... He, I don't think he understand, because it would take for them to go in our schools. I live, I live out of Miramar. Mm. I live West I-75. Mm. It's totally different from where I grew up at. Mm. If my kid dropped from a A to a C, they call on my phone. Mm. My kid can't walk home from school if I don't sign the paper that morning when I drop him off. Right. Mm. It's not like Liberty City. Mm. When I grew up in the poker bean in elementary school, if you was a virgin, they picked at you. Mm. Wow. He don't know what he's getting himself into. He need to come get me and a couple other niggas so I, we can explain to him what need to be done. That would be interesting. We need to explain <laughs> to him, and I need to take him in overtime at 1030 on a Friday night and, and show him the Thriller video was real. <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit is serious. Take like, him to ghouls, too, while you're at it. Again? Take him south. Talking about Trump? No, 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 no Ben Carson. Ben Carson. Oh, Carson. They made yeah. him a brain overhead. surgeon, but sometimes yeah. we don't know where the brains is at. Overhood. He's overhood. <laughs> That is crazy. 
Nah. He too calm, too political. BB, BB, you want to come over here? BB's here? I feel like BB want to talk. BB a rich kid. He done come yeah. up. Well, that's my nigga, though. BB uh, throwing up a rich kid. What up, BB? BB. Shout out to Lunch Money making mad money out there, yeah. yeah. We trying, man. BB. Yeah. Uh, Let's big up the Circle House. The whole community. Inner circle, pops, the whole family. Bad boy. You ain't, um, you ain't got... Oh, you ain't got another mic for BB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You of respect course. Circle House well, we Studios. You, talking about, you was talking about the second time that I was on it. You know I'm going there. That was big, too. wasn't it? No, I ain't gonna lie. On yeah. what? Every black... You, Charlemagne just got it. On right. the record. Because Charlemagne just got it because Charlemagne said some shit. I don't know what he said, but I know every angry black female got on the record. But no, you, you know what? Females, no decent female is gonna get mad of nothing I say. Mm. I represent. But well, what exactly I, did you say? Let's let's the these people bitches in these holes that don't know it. For instance, the first mm. ones are the ones that leave Miami and move to Atlanta. Mm. That's the first sign that that bitch got a lot of miles on her pussy, <laughs> and she trying to be a re, she she trying she to recover. On the yeah, miles. We call them recovering mutts. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to start all over again. <laughs> ain't now, ain't nobody. Ain't now, now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> ain't now, bitch from Miami is leaving Miami, not yeah. a real bitch. Uh -huh. I want women, they understand that one paycheck get put up and get it, and you, you join it with the next paycheck and you pay your motherfucking bills. Uh -huh. Anything after that is extras. Right. Mm -hmm. They understand that the income tax check is the money that they took out of their check prior mm. to them giving it to them a year before. Mm. These hoes get income tax check and act crazy. Mm. In the club. You walk in a motherfucking strip club, you don't know what bitch you want because all of them shape the like. Mm. The hoes go in, when they go to Dr. Miami, they be like, I want her waist. Mm. I'm, I didn't grow up on that. Mm. A lot of them shady pussy now. I grew up with the Harry pussy. When we say, oh, they got hell. Yo, but, but that's that's better, man. It's more listen, hygienic, man. man. Listen, it's more hygienic. I understand that. But yeah. let me explain. Unless your pussy look like you got butt weeks sitting between your legs and you braiding this hair. All right. <laughs> you can shave it, trim it, no, get no. a land this trip. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but... Wait, <laughs> <laughs> a real Miami person, a real Southern boy or Island boy, mm. when they see you with no hair on your pussy, the first mm. thing they think about is crabs. Mm. Yeah, it's true. It's true. She had to shave it because of the crabs. Now you got everybody want to shave, which we know everybody body, everybody blood, everybody is different. Right. I don't give a fuck how you look. You're different. If we was identical twins, we would be different. Mm. They could test something on us, and you allergic to milk. I'm allergic to something else. We're mm. different. Pray Therefore, for twin. you can't shave. Tanya can't shave like Sarah. Patricia, because Sarah's <laughs> sure. body could could take the, the razor. Mm. Tell him to get razor got bumps. The chicken pot pussy now. She got bumps everywhere on the pussy now. <laughs> bumps and bumps. Bumps and bumps. So, <laughs> what trick? What trick? You gotta let the black woman know. I, the, 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 we man. love the black woman. Right, Come listen, on. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. Please, we gotta make that correct let me tell you because. Something. You know, I'm a Black First Lives all, Matter I, I, activist I, 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 in my I, 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 mind. I, 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 see, I, I want to I I nominate you. you, you I, I, I wanna, I wanna we got to represent for our black I started, women. I started trick. an organization three years ago called the Eat a Booty Game. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Don't go there right now. Because just, just say you love segment. black That's women first. <laughs> please, tell me. And then we go to the Eat Booty. But please okay. just say, tell I'm the people, this I love black women. You got to say it. Not only do I love black women, I prefer chocolate, dark skin, long. I, mm. I'm tell them trick. I don't eat pussy no more. I sucks pussy. It's like a life. <laughs> I give them the spaghetti legs. <laughs> I, I, I used to like squirters till I found out they were peeing on me. Yeah, that's you pee? pee on me. That's, that's urine. Pee. Yeah. <laughs> what when they spray? That's pee. Oh, <laughs> I thought she liked it. I talked to doctors. I researched it. You know, you can't. A lot of people say, just Google it. They don't know that Google got some shit that I could put in there. Right. So you can't believe you everything in shit. Google. Yeah. Right. Because they can say my middle, name, my middle name is Samuel. I would right. never be called a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have no, I don't have no Samuel, but I love. I put on Facebook. We need to I, put get... on, I put on Facebook today. Right. 
I love sucking pussy so much. <laughs> that I just go to shaking and get nervous. I say, I'm, I say, I'm slobbing right now, just thinking about. It. Well, you love black women. I, I, I just, I love them to death. I, my right. motto to a black woman is, baby, right. lay down. I got you. Right, exactly. <laughs> Cause they got it misconstrued. I knew who it was. Cause it tricked out these motherfucking dollars. I was talking real women. Was just, you were just saying just real, like a couple of y'all slipping. That's what you were saying. No, a lot of ass slipping, <laughs> but <laughs> not the women. Right, the not the holes in the, the bitches. Holes in the, right. That's the difference. All right, that's, that's the difference. difference. It's the women and the right. holes. In the first bitches. of all, a real woman ain't got time to be on no motherfucking social Computer. media debating mm. with me. Right, right, right. She taking care of business. Yep. Mm. It's rough out here. Mm-hmm. And I don't know a lot of rich black women, mm. so therefore, certain things I have a problem with. Mm. Single, black, and independent. As a woman, mm. that's lonely, hungry, and broke. <laughs> no, we love our black women. It's a lot of it's a lot of women out there doing their thing. And, and, and all the ones that do their thing, like I, I, I know Phaedra. Mm. I knew Phaedra before she was in college. She's a mm. successful black attorney. Mm. Respect to that. I respect her for that. That's right. And they could talk all that shit they want to about Patty LaBelle. But you can say yeah. the pie is nasty, but they, they bought them. Patty LaBelle right. got dragged into this. Yeah, the pie. The, the, <laughs> they bought the motherfucking pies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I can love Patty music. And I, I look at yeah. if I see Patty, I'm going to say, what's up, mom? Right. That's motherfucking My right. mama. Is one is is is, is 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 one of the ones they call considered as the queen of soul, mm. way before anybody else. Mm. Miss the legendary Miss Betty Wright. Mm. What? That's your grandma? That's my godmama. Mm. What the nobody that's crazy? Nobody would ever understand her for slapping the shit out of me for disrespecting a black woman, a mm. decent black woman. Wait, we talking about Betty Wright, not the white. No, no, no Betty the singer. Wright, the singer. Oh, no, pain. Not the the Mr. Homie. Charlie. What's the shit? Um, Golden Girls. Yeah. No, no, man. I was like, this shit got L. <laughs> you, no. you know Betty White from yeah, Golden yeah, Girls. Yeah. I'm the, bugging out. The old, the old. <laughs> one of them a slut, one of them dingy. What? <laughs> <laughs> trick is going there. Yeah, I'm yeah, a, one of the shot in the Golden nah, Girls? No, 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 but, but did you ever have, <laughs> you ever had Tiger Bone? That would have been an L episode. Nah, I never had that before. Let, let's have Tiger Bone. It's just one shot. Come I on. I don't want that shit. Please, you pour it. No. Yeah, if he don't want that shit, I don't want that shit. No, 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 trick. Let's go. Yeah. One small shot. Small Might shot. As well. <laughs> small Is shot. this shit like Taco Bell? Do I need to no. take this shit in the bathroom? No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. Yeah, oh, take, take that's how I feel about Taco Bell. I eat that shit on the toilet. Mm. Yeah, no, you might as well. This is and you on the Kings of the South tour right now, right? Uh, well, the uh, Legends of the South. Legends of the South. Yeah. That's you. Who's on there? Scarface. Scarface. A Ball. MJG. Mm. Juvie. Mr. Juvie. Pastor All Trump. them niggas come out here, man. Come to the drink chat. Oh, this is horrible, guys. Ara. Sorry about this Ara. trick. Ara. I'm from Miami. God, I feel bad dang. about this right <laughs> now. Don't even smell it. Just go. This, it's like, well, e it's, it's like E1 of them steak oh. pussy hoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the girl that, did, that shaved her pussy. That's and the I don't eat, eat out the garbage. We call it eating out the garbage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Damn. So that, that's, that's hard. Uh, it's a hard. It's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good, man. That shit not going to sell, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I promise you. <laughs> Trick is not going to put it in one of his videos, man. Yeah. I, so trick. <laughs> so trick. We got a guy who's down with our crew. His name's Eddie the Ass Eater. Yeah. Oh, and you're his hero. I am, I am the CEO, president, and founder of the Eating Booty Gang. Eating Booty Gang. Which is yeah. the, which. Which ask, means, well, drink champs. Uh, listen, we ask I, everybody I, if they eat I, ass. We're not gonna ask you if you eat ass because we know. No, you, you guys are. You guys are the <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna you tell are, you something. You're about the gang that leader. You don't know. Okay. I don't take showers. I haven't took a shower wait, wait, wait. since January 25th of 95. Wait, yourself? I take, no, I take sit-down bubble baths every oh, time. Okay. At least you clean yourself. Gangster. Because I get eight out, too. I get right. my ass eight, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting wild. I need more lime in my drink. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Some more lime in my drink. Uh, Describe, describe how you convert it. I just want to get lime in your drink. Uh, uh, this affects <laughs> Describe how you. I'm talking about. I'm talking about woman eat man ass and, uh, and, and man. men eat women ass. Right. I ain't talking about none of that. So what happened? I know we know we none know Trey. Come on, we love you. Shit. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> we know Trey. So eat a booty can't go both ways. So what happened? Yes, for some. For, right. I mean, it's totally heterosexual. How, how I start like get my ass. She was a, 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 
she had the sloppy jalopy, like, <laughs> like you know, the sloppy jalopy head, wet up your nuts and all. She got slob all on my ass. I'm like, get that out of there. And she like, are you Whoa. looking for the sloppy no, jalopy? No, I don't know. I was, I was just, yeah. I'm trying to go ahead, continue. So uh, if you never got eight out, that's what we call it. Get eight. If you never got eight out. <laughs> 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 Yo, try. He, he keep try. it one hundred and twenty percent. But hold on. But how did it start first? It started you eating the booty first. Or was I, it well, a six? It, 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 it really, it really, it really come from my family. My, I have a very spiritual family, uh-huh. and they, 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 they raise their kids with manners. <laughs> and, and I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all know this, but it's about, it's about, it's about this much room between say the that, ass man. and the pussy. It's a little line. You can't say it. I'm, I'm, I'm right there sucking your pussy. And I, I'm just speaking to the neighbor. <laughs> oh, now your mama tell you, oh, speak to that old lady. Oh shit! Oh my god. Shit. Let's make some noise <laughs> for the booty gang We need to send Eddie the ass eater on a training yeah. camp. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. Because trick, I seen online you said you could have quit the booty gang at one point, right? But yeah, hold because on. the dudes. Just, yeah, but hold on, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna set up, we're gonna, and it's gonna be a show on on reality show. We're gonna do the E Booty Gang training camp. Where you send a nigga and be like, anything he do, he, nah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And you no gonna send No PP, no doodle. Yeah, no. <laughs> no PP, no doodle. <laughs> Yo, hold on, just randomly. This makes some noise, Dick Daddy, for being a part of our fucking show that day. <laughs> No, no, I just said make noise with Trick Daddy for being oh, part of our show. Because let's guess what, EFN? Let's be real. The minute the fans got word that we are our main base, you born and raised in Miami. Not born and raised, but born you. Born and laid, but raised in Miami. And me being in Miami for 10 years, and you're the number he one wanted, guest. He's one of the first niggas that they say, hey, he wants some drops. He wants right. some music for that's his right. And that's I say, right. all right, here you go. All right, that's right. And he put that shit, and it, it was out there. So who was the first DJ that played play your, your music? The first DJ that played my music? I don't know. A lot of these radio DJs were my DJ mm. once before. Mm. But about DJ Khaled? The first, DJ, the first DJ to really go crazy with it was mm. Khaled. Mm. Okay. Now it's DJ Nasty. Well, mm. Uncle Al, Uncle Al didn't. Uncle Al, me, and Uncle Al was like, it's like family. Right. Mm. So when when Al, I, like when Al, Al did more of if if you knew if you know who a DJ in, you it ain't too many trick daddy records you put on at the jam. Right. Mm. No, I do. I understand. You know what I'm saying? You understand, understand what I'm saying? I you, you, yeah. They, 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 I ain't had too many of the records. A couple of them get on right. up. Right. Um, take it to the house. You take it drunk. to the house. But you know, our jams is. Nail, like, nail, nigga. I love I our jams. Go back like there. the little girls. Oh, not, uh, Remember, the, I don't know if y'all seen this on, on Instagram, but I'm looking for her mama. The little girl <laughs> dancing, the little boy <laughs> making it rain on her with the cars. You seen that? Uh, 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 oh, the, um, the Chinese. The Chinese. No, the black little girl oh, with no, the I dancing, know. and the little boy was making it rain on her with the cars. I'm like, I've been, I've been going to every strip club looking for her mama. I can't find her. <laughs> But I want to know what Chinese girl you talking about. Oh, it's a little. No, it's a little Chinese girl. I think it's a jeweler, a jeweler, and she just be throwing like she be um like. Quoting, she's not little. Like that. Yeah, she be calling. I think it's one of the jewelers. Oh, uh, like kids. Okay, continue, Trey. But how it's like a lot of these kids out here. They don't got shit to do. Mm. Everybody got guns. Once you try them, once you beef with them and say something slick, right. they coming to kill you. Mm. They kill you. Right. They friends gonna kill one of your homeboys. Yep. Mm. Straight up. Mm. One of your homeboys gonna shoot up they friend Wake. It's mm. fucked up. Mm-hmm. So what I do with Trick Love the Kids Foundation, right. and I don't lie to my kids no more. Mm. I used to tell them, I'm Uncle Trick. Mm. But I was fucking half of their mama. So you mm. dad trick? No. <laughs> I'm up <and> stepdad. <laughs> so uh, because it's 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 certain things that I my mama from the, my mama from South Carolina, they call us Geechee. Mm. Ain't nothing my mama hear from us. She told us what not to repeat, what not to say. Words like nanny and babysitter, well, we know what that means. Five years old. Lock my door to open it for nobody. Uh. 
We knew on Fridays, Saturdays, when all the kids in the room, when you first play high go hunch, uh. all the kids together because the grown <laughs> folks is in the room getting high. We uh. knew that, uh. but they didn't do it in front of us. Right. Uh. The problem with these these people, they do shit in front of their kids. Mm. Anything in front of their kids, they let their kids do anything, and they try to be their kids' friend. My kids ain't my fucking friends. Mm. They your kids. They not my friend. They daddy. And my my my. my my, the whole thing about me is respect my manhood, mm-hmm. respect my mind, respect me as being older. Young niggas now, they got, a new, the they got a new name for niggas like us, Nor old uh, head. Old head. Yeah, I don't, don't like old head. head. I don't niggas. like OG neither. Like niggas, sometimes. I, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? I'll be OG. Nah, sometimes I'll be OG, like, like, it depends on the way. I, I mean, it, I got listen, white hair, it depends so on the good. way they use it. Sometimes, because they say OG, and it's like, right. and then yeah, and and it's like, like up, OG, man? and it's oh, like, man, right. so say, yeah, young you're bitch. old nigga. Yeah. Call him young bitch. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> when I, when I didn't want to get caught, when, when I didn't want to get caught old head or uh, old OG in the wrong way was when my son started wearing my same size of shoes. Right. And now, I can't get all the exclusive joys. Mm. Cause I'm stuck in my ways. I ain't even gonna be walking around here with no soup on. You got me fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my little jeans, mm. my little jewels. I don't want no old bitch either. Mm. Right, what I'm gonna do with an old bitch? <laughs> we not, bitch, we not gonna die together. <laughs> but you might I, not I want a bitch, cry, hey, I want a bitch to bury me and fight with my family over the shit I got left. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. So, what the fuck I'm <laughs> the fuck I'm finna die with a bitch for? So Trick I, I'll be a, I'll be an asshole If I don't ask you this We heard that you're gonna be A part of a reality show We don't have to say their name Yeah It's gonna be It's not It's gonna be off the chain Off the chain Yeah Is it Miami? Yeah Yes oh. Yes We wanna uh, I, I'm so proud You know what I mean Because Had they did this show And this show unfolded In Miami And then Without I had me. you you know what I'm saying? I like, probably would have shot that bitch up. I, 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 I probably would have shot that I bitch up. I would have gave him a location. I would have gave him a location. They yeah. told me. Yeah, yeah. They told me some of the people were interested in. Your mm-hmm. name came up. Yeah. And I was like, I fuck with him. I do right, that. Right. I, and I said the same I thing about that. you. I, I said the same that. thing about you, but Come on, shit stop happened. Lying. Y'all met at a fucking meeting. No, nah, shit man, happened in my life. Nah, that's my nigga. And listen, I'm the nigga. I think I'm the first nigga to introduce you to pun. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact. Yeah. And, 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 and I remember this. And I after, punk, me and Cuban Lee's was gambling. Right. And I owed him five stacks. And I was right. like, man, I, man, let's go, man. I'm not gonna pay this nigga. Oh. Man. Fuck that, man. Oh. I ain't gonna pay this nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe was like, yo, <laughs> yo. I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> but I also, I, I also, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get ready to do this shit now. Right. Nah, nah. Listen. That was Super Cindy, we, right? No. Yes. And and and. <laughs> Me and you talk. That's right. We gonna Listen, do some business together. We heard, no, we heard that Trick Daddy is is about to start a podcast, and it's no way us you being from Miami, me uh, adapting Miami is my second hey, home. You Miami now? Yeah. You've been here for a while. Yeah, yeah I, I have been. Been long enough. I have been. Yeah, long enough. And, and he respects we, Miami. He I'm gonna tell you the difference. I'm gonna tell you the difference from right. from where you grew up at. Right. It's mm. too hot to wear rubbers down here, so I'm looking. Right. I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for <laughs> to some little niggas looking like you. you know? <laughs> right now, nah, nah. so nah, I'm married. I'm married. It's all good, but listen, we want to sign your podcast. Want to do another shot? Let's nah, hell shot. no. I Come got on, nigga. Let's give him nah, a you look, can't let Puff guess. Daddy out. We're not leaving. We're not, we're not I ending. Need look, Puff Daddy, Daddy sat right here. You from Miami. You're not doing another shot. But I, we got the effing. The effing. We got the Vapatini. Oh, Vapatini. Vapatini. I personally drank the Puffy juice. That was 50 called it, but. Right. Shots out of the 50. No, shout out to the 50. We fuck with him. You know, we got just Vapatini. And we got Vapatini. You want to smoke? You want to smoke some Bacardi? Try this Vapatini right here. Look, it's Bacardi. That's just good. That's good. Yeah, that's Vapatini, goddammit. Inhale that shit like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is God's vapor right there. Hit it through the straw like you're in the joint. Yeah. It's alcohol. Inhale it like you're in the weed. It's rum. It's rum. It's rum. It's rum. Vapatini.com, yo. Hey, and I'm looking forward to doing that podcast. Yes, yes. We're going to have them on the Drink Champs Network. That's big oh, up the CBS. Oh, that's that's big up the CBS. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I asked Trick. I said, Trick, you know, we'll have the camera guys, the engineers. He said, I got everything, Nori. So all we're going to do is come around, produce. Because you know why? They said, 
it's about time that real niggas got a chance to we have our own station. Yeah. The thing about it is this. If we smart about what we're doing right now, you ain't got to drop an album on no label or drop an album on something. There's something called sound is Not changed. only that, you notice what's going on right around the corner from here? Uh-huh. In a minute... Uh-huh. This building, they go off of millions for this. Mm. Cause they trying to turn, they trying to push our ass mm. out there where the crocodiles at. Mm. And shouts yeah. out to BB and face them. Big up the BB. Bar. BB, you wanna you know say saying? something about the Luke episode? I feel like you wanna no, no, say something. No, 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 you can't no. drink it out the liquid. You gotta take the liquid. Yeah, you gotta yeah. smoke but, it. But but well, if in a minute, niggas is smoking able, vodka. You if see we that don't shit be able to do something, we ain't gonna be able to afford to live here. Nah, 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 nah. We gonna do something. Shout out to my brothers and women with the Puerto Ricans. A little bit of crew of Puerto Ricans. Thurston how? Thurston yeah, Howe, let's big him up. I used to go there back in the days. Little Nation used to run that. Let's big up to every time I see Trick. Every time I'm in Miami, Trick always tell me, "You good, nigga." You always, you always oh, wait, you made sure, that. and you, you a real nigga. And I, I remember I introduced him to Pun. That's, that's the. That's amazing, that, man. I, I remember. I, um, I know we Pun was loved on, him. No, 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 no. I super loved him, and I walked in his room, and he played a record, and I was like, "All right, Pun was downstairs." And then I went up, I sent Pun upstairs, and I remember y'all met, yeah. but I, I stayed downstairs. And you always been a real nigga. New York niggas always loved you. Hey, and you give gonna... me chills, nigga, because nah. it's like, you know what? We were on a tour with Bum B, right? And I uh-huh. always, and I growed up with it. Uh-huh. I got a pocket full of stone. Uh-huh. And Bum B say, I'm uh-huh. going to fuck you up, young uh-huh. nigga. Uh-huh. And I was like, what I did? Uh-huh. He was like, when your ass was going right before me, right. I could leave once you get off the stage. Right. Now you're going last. And my wife right. says she's not leaving until she <laughs> see you. Right. I'm like, God damn, right. man. Right, right, right. Well, so I appreciate real, nah, well, any trick. real niggas, any real Puerto Ricans, right. Cubans, Cubans, right. Cubans, right. Cubans, right. Cubans right here. Right, right, yeah, Puerto Rican Cubans, goddamn, and blacks. And I'm black. Let, yeah. let, let, and Dominican. Let me explain something real quick. But real quick, on Miami nigga, tip. Okay. Yes. On Miami yes, tip. Yes, please. I yeah, come friend. from the era of, I fucked with the mother superiors. The, mm. the those funky bastards society mm. those are mm. my peoples and we were on some hip hop shit and then Miami bass was like we were all parallel of each other but as Miamians right. it was we were all together yeah. mm-hmm. right. you know what I'm saying I remember when I met Uncle Al and I mm. gave him a record it was a record that you did for me mm. I saw him like a part of Miami yeah, history yeah, yeah. because I gave, I gave it to him it was at, at Studio Wayne right uh-huh. And I gave it to him, and I was like, "Yo, man, this is—I don't know if you're gonna like this," because I right. didn't think it was his kind of record. And it's it's hip hop. Yeah, it was hip hop. Okay, he was yeah. younger then. They was right. like, "Man, what's up with that white boy?" I said, "Nah, he right. good." <laughs> <laughs> and, and I gave it to him. But he's sick because they call all Cuban white boys. <laughs> so I said, "I said, yo, Al, I'm gonna give you." He said, "If it's Miami <laughs> shit, I'm always gonna play it." Yeah, you from Miami? I'm always gonna play it. I love the way. Miami. And then that's what I'm saying. Like, trick is for all of us. No matter what side, whatever the fuck, he repped Miami. Hell yeah. Like, Miami. That's right. He is Make some noise for Miami. For it's your daddy. Yeah. You gonna hate a regular black? Uh, I, I hate this bitch half a time. Because I, I know you smoked that smoke, regular deli I, I and I'm gonna tell the story before we get up. Yeah, before yeah, we you in. smoked that real so, shit. So, the first time I went on Wendy Williams' show. You smoked that shit? No. Oh, okay. I go on there and she's like, empty your pockets. <laughs> mm, you had that shit I in your pocket. I empty my pocket. She was like, he got like five thousand dollars, a hundred dollar bill. Mm. He got some Magnum condoms. Mm. He got a clear baggie with a white sustenance. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that was for that boat. So I looked at that big nigga, Whitney Williams. I looked at that oh, big nigga. Cab, that's her husband. Oh damn! <laughs> no, I'm talking about her. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I, wasn't ready. I told her, I heard your, your your husband had a cocaine problem. But we got the best shit down there in Miami. I bought you some. Like, don't try to clown me. Right. You know, right. I'm, a, I'm the boot on the dog. And what is <laughs> this shit hurt? What is yeah? <laughs> this that pure. This that pure. Yeah. Well, tell them what is boot. Tell the them what is boot. The boot right? is the the brown weed. The brown. Jamaican weed. The, the, yard, yard, the gun. Yeah, yeah. But the, but the with, brown with, team. with the thin thing thing. With the <laughs> with the Pablo. With the, you're not something with, you heard. With the Yablo. With the Pablo on the yeah. on the top. Like. With that Yablo. Explain that to the listeners. That's the dirty, dirty. That's the dirty. Cause they, listen. That's all you smoke, right, Trey? That's be, it. Be That's absolutely it. honest. That's all I smoke. And I seen you outside with a cigarette. You dipped in something. I didn't know that, what that that's, was. That's called something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what you're talking about? We don't talk about that. Chapter 8K verse 47. <laughs> if I tell you that, man, the kid. I don't want it. 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 I don't want
know what it is. Yo, yo Trick. Trick. Trick ain't holding back, bro. Listen, man. <laughs> Trick, like I told you in the, in the beginning of this interview, this platform is for... We don't interview new artists. We don't interview the people that is just hot now. Like how you said you described your albums, we want to support our legends. And again, we want to give you the flowers while we can smell them. And why the trees? Why you can't inhale them? We know you don't smoke. This, what do y'all call it? Because this is this is this is medicine. Yeah, we weed, call it right? they, they, they they well we yeah. used to call it airplane, but now they right. brought the, the, the New York and Cali bud down yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah. we call it the live. But down yeah. south, right. on the south end, mm. we call it the scary. Scary? <laughs> why? Because that not shit good. ain't loud. That, that, that shit is not loud. It's that chemicals. Shit, so you ain't smoke crack. You ain't smoke Miami That Miami Crippy is some shit. Nigga done broken the nigga out and done stole it while I was too young. That's why I put you smoking. on the Crippy. I put you yes, on the Crippy. Go, yes, yeah, real, you deserve the prize. <laughs> real yeah. Crippy. Mr. Lee is keeping it going. Three or four joints and you good for the day. Yeah. When right. you see them niggas keep rolling off, that's some shit that got knocked off. That shit too young and yeah. potent. Mm. It's too, so now, I asked you on the phone, <laughs> are we working on the next album? I'm working on the next. I don't know what the name of it is, but after we do the, after we start a reality show, mm. and after we do the deal with you, mm. with the podcast. that's right. The podcast. Yeah. That's, that's right. What's the name of your podcast? It's called Flop. No T. The, the flop is this. Flop. No matter where you from from around the world, mm. when you mix lemonade with tea, mm. they call it the Arnold Palmer. Mm. In Miami, if you go ask for Arnold Palmer. Uh-huh. They gonna think you looking for some type of pill or some shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> we call it the flop. Right, 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 right. So the no T is, is 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 the fact that I'm not assassinating niggas' characters. Mm. Speaking of the truth, mm. that's right. I'm I'm not anything I say out of my mouth mm. is gonna be documented. If mm. you're a close and pro, uh, personal friend of mine, mm. I will protect you. Mm. That's what we do over here. Yeah, no, we That's what we do over, over here. here. So I'm gonna say a couple. Because I'm gonna say a couple of names from Miami, and I just want to see what Trick Daddy thinks about it. Oh, Florida, Florida. Okay, you can go wherever the fuck you want to go. Kodak Black. Kodak Black, that's a young nigga who, who's hot. That's that's one of the quickest young nigga I ever seen get hot mm. in the last twenty mm. years, maybe. Mm. But he's kind of young. He don't have no guidance, and mm. if he fuck with me, I'm gonna show him what to do because he mm. got the ears already. Mm. I don't want him to. I don't want him to talk about nothing different. I just mm. want him to be careful because they'll send his ass. You gonna guide him? It will send his ass to yeah. prison. Mm. Kodak Black, you heard that? Kodak, that, that, that's that's respect, respect, bro. Kodak. Call that black and tricked out his advice as well. Any young nigga under 25 or 30, that's my nephew, nigga. Mm. You ain't got to like me, nigga. I'm mm. unk, nigga. You mm. better believe it. I like that. I like that. I told that to a nigga today. I said, listen, man. That's what we I missing, OGs, I man. I don't care. And that's the problem. It's not even the OGs. It's the, you know, back in my day, it was like, my mama tell him, if you catch my children doing something wrong, beat their ass. Mm. The village. It's two type of females now that's gonna say something. It's the ones that gonna be on the news crying when their kid get killed, saying he was a good kid. <laughs> she don't even know a fucking kid. Mm. And it's this other ignorant bitch that's taking all the stolen shit that her son bring in mm. and saying he a real nigga just like his daddy. Mm. That was deep. That was deep. So I'm gonna keep going with the just names randomly. Don't whisper, yo. I always whisper when I do this. I don't know why. I don't know why. I always whisper when I do this. Trina. Trina the baddest bitch. Oh. That's the baddest bitch. That's everybody wanna fuck her. Mm. And everybody wanna know that I fuck her. No, I ain't never fuck her. Mm. I I'd have know. heard my brother fucking her in the next room. You heard her. You heard him fucking. You actually heard him fucking. Did fuck not know this where this was going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, actually, I'm scared to ask another name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Go for it, one buddy. One. Go for it, buddy. Right. Rick Ross. Rick Ross is is Rick Ross is the next thing in Miami to me. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas always stop. It was problems. Me and me, me and Rick Ross' problems was personal shit. Mm. And and I feel like I feel like this: two real niggas should never bump heads with each other. Mm. We should get together and deal with these fuck niggas. Mm. 
Respect. And that's the thing I always been on. So when I came out to the port of Miami, the tenth anniversary, mm. everybody was looking like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. Thinking you that was just some let bullshit. me know that they sleep with their eyes open. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't believe that's everything. Elliot Wilson AC. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, they got an AC now. They got an he AC stepped now. Up, he man. stepped it up. Continue, brother. But mm. Miami. We, we, we came a long fucking way. Yes. Still going. Still we going. We came so far, we buying cocaine from other states. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You know that don't we sound right. We don't fucked up now. Because <laughs> the Mexicans control it. That's why we got to go. I'm just waiting for one of Ronald Reagan's sons to get old enough to run for president. And that <laughs> shit gonna come it's going to come right, right back. Because when the crack era became popular, it wasn't mm. no niggas doing bad. Mm. It wasn't as much dying and killing. You couldn't kill a nigga for anything back in them days. So, in, in your opinion... But we got we to ask them one other group. Go ahead. Two Life Crew. What does Two Life Crew mean? Two Life Crew is the first group I ever fell in love. And that's my cousin. He ain't shit right there. He, right. Went, okay. he went Two Life Crew right there. Right. Two Life Crew is the first group that I ever fell in love with. Mm. Because they was nasty they want to be. And if you talk to a Miami nigga, we holler at women different. Mm. We be like, psst. Yeah. Psst. Say red. Say right. black. Right. My boy Paul And then you know that. If they ain't from Miami They say some shit To make them get cussed out uh, <laughs> My name ain't Red uh, <laughs> What you see a snake uh, Some shit like this So we, we, we know then uh, You know what I'm saying uh, Two Live Crew Is the first ones that Beat a trial Beat somebody Back in the days they like, the law we, Back the in the days day. If you caught a child They can keep you in the county Five, six, seven years Damn. Now they got the rock court and different shit. Like, you don't have this man in this county all this long time. You waiting on him to do something else stupid or you waiting on some other shit to come. And Tula took Broward County. Mr. Uh-huh. Nick Navarro took his ass to the Supreme Court and won. Like, mm. we can say what the fuck we want to say and do what the fuck we want to do. This mm. is our right. right. Parental motherfucking Freedom advisor. Freedom of right. speech, Tula Make speech. some noise for that, hey. goddammit. Hey. And I'm going to say two more names and then we're going to get about it. BB. BB full of shit. Oh. <laughs> Damn, BB. And it's BB is a rich boy. Yeah. <laughs> they got to be. We spent millions of dollars in that studio. The circle house? I get love in that bitch now. Right, right, right. I, I left some knives over you there. Got I got credit to the last time I cooked. I want my knives, but BB is an easy good nigga. Right. He's, very, he's very hoarse. The women always, he always lied to the women. Bitch. <laughs> He yeah, he even lied to me. <laughs> he, he lied to him and betrayed him. <laughs> but he, he, he uh-huh. all, all in all, he a good dude. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's and, right. and I know them since a youngin, and we around the same age. So right. you know what I'm Straight saying? Up. Big up the BB. He yeah, helped us make this trip daddy house. interview <laughs> happen. God damn it! Big up the Circle House <laughs> and his pop. Bad boy, Let's bad boy. Circle. What Shout you gonna do? Money, what you gonna do when they come? I still got two more. That's why I learned about getting them checks. They still getting checks from this shit. That's that publishing, baby. And I got two more names. For okay. You. I'm gonna say Khaled and Luke. Khaled and Luke. Khaled was necessary. Mm. For Miami. Luke is like a Jesus Christ. Mm. Because if the Bible says for God look so love us uh, the world, he gave his only begotten son, mm. he gave his motherfucker Luke. And Luke birthed Khaled, believe it or not. Because mm. he put Khaled Luke work, he put Khaled, Khaled in his first for mix show. His mm. mix show. Um, yeah, Khaled worked for Luke. Mm. And shout out to Butterfuku as well. Mm. And Khaled, old girl, I, that's like my mama, that's my brother from another mother. I can call on a couple of niggas. I can call on Wait. Luke. I can Wait, call did on. you say Kyle old girl is your old that, brother? That's like my mama. Kyle oh, old oh, mama is like mother. my mama. Okay, okay, sorry. That's like yeah. we called each other brothers from another right. mother. Right. DJ Khaled, Luke, right. Betty Wright. I can call on Khaled, Pitbull, Jason right. Taylor, Udonis Haslam, and say, I'm doing something for the kids. And I'm right. going to get a couple thousands, tens of thousands from them. And they're right. going to say, is that enough? All right. Respect that. Straight up. So Respect I'm always that. fuck with them. Respect that. Let's make some noise for Trick Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, shout out to the drink champ for getting me yeah. fucked up in the video. Yeah, you want another shot? Little, I got my little Oprah bag in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, got yeah. one? No, you don't got none. Yeah, you, yeah, got yeah, one. You, you got one. You got one. You got one. Listen, but Trick, once again, we want you to know 
that we all home bases in Miami. This guy's Miami mixtape king. He's been pushing. He's the first one of the first people to put you on the, um, your music. And we want to continue to support our legends because in our game, there's so many people that after you get 10 years or better, they say you washed up or you whatever. That's not what we do over here. We celebrate the niggas that need to be celebrated. That's you know what I'm saying? That's we celebrate the niggas that need to be celebrated. Hey, the fact I that appreciate we, everything. Yeah. Nah, thank you. And now, nah, the I fact that we in Miami, I, you don't, you, you listen, I don't give a fuck. If you want to come back tomorrow, you come back tomorrow. This is your home. Yeah, this, this is your home. home. We in Miami. This is your home. We in your Every home. motherfucking time. So I just want you to know that. You want to take another shot before you do it? No, I just want to get a yeah. shout out to the drink. <laughs> <laughs> And my apple So then let's make some noise for Chick Daddy hey. Donna. Hey. 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 Shout out to Vapertini in the building. Oh, Vapertini in the goddamn building. You ready? Uh.